Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Darren and I'm back with another video. Today I'm doing a quick video on Blender. I'm going to be showing you how to add an HDRI to your background. It's sort of a quick scene. Now this scene has a UV sphere and I'm going to be adding a quick material to it. I'm going to make it metallic and turn down the roughness. I'm going to bring the base color to black or gray. I'm going to be deleting the light from the scene. I'm also using the Cycles Render, which I recommend if you're going to be using HDRIs. To add an HDRI to the scene, what you want to do is come here to the World Settings and click on Color and go to Environment Texture. You're going to be getting this, this pink screen and pretty much pink in Blender means that there's a file texture that's missing. We're going to hit Open right here and now we need to browse and find that file. I recommend getting files from polyhaven.com it's a very neat site for HDRIs and textures. Let me grab this outdoors one right here. I think I like this. You can download it as an EXR or HDR. I'm gonna go with EXR, let's go 4K, hit download. My texture is now finished downloading. Here it is in this environment texture folder. I'm just gonna copy the location, paste it in here so I can quickly browse to it. And I'm gonna select the texture. If we look around the scene, you can see that it shows the environment texture and it's showing up in the reflections on the ball here. If I should bring down the roughness even more, then it shows it even better. Now, the reason I have this plane here in the scene is because I want to use it as a shadow catcher. Click on the object properties and move down to visibility. Under visibility, you want to click shadow catcher. Now, as you can see, it will cast shadows on the scene but it won't be showing the plane itself. If we have a look at our sphere here, you can see that it shows the white texture in the reflections. And that is because even though we're not seeing the plane, it, it's still being used in the scene indirectly. We can add a, add a material. And if we make this say pink, you're gonna see the pink in the scene. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be making it a, a green that's in the grass. I'm also gonna turn down the roughness on it. And as you can see, you can now see a reflection of the ball on the grass. This is unrealistic, but I'm just showing that whatever material is applied to the plane, it will be affecting the scene. Let me just turn this roughness all the way back up. And now we'll do a quick render. Our scene is rendered. We have our sphere, but we're also seeing the grass. If you want to render out a PNG so you can put something else in the background, what you want to do is go to film and under film, click transparent. If we go back to our layout, you'll now see that everything is showing checkers. That means there are transparency values. I'm going to hit render once more. This is our complete render. Now we can put anything in the background that we want. We can save this out as a PNG, an EXR, a TIF. That's it. That's how you add environment or HDRI textures in Blender. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.